Hey guys, we're back at the workshop and we've got a lot of things to do today. Today we have to install my new sand blasting gun into my sand blasting cabin because the old one broke. Uh, we have to finish up those two knives because this one should look in the end something like that. Um, I call it the obsidian grind. Um, that's just what I call it. Some guys call it differently. That's just um, how I like to call it. And this one will look um, similar. The whole blade will be ground. Uh, but before that, we have to sandblast it, etch it, and everything. We have to sandblast this one and give it a handle wrap and etch. These two knives are already heat treated. I also want to heat treat those knives as well, which we've made last time in the vlog if you haven't seen it check it out and I also have to heat treat this one uh, these ones are uh, the same these ones are the runners uh, that's just how I call them but this one got a hollow grind it's not really deep hollow grind I made it on my biggest wheel I have but it's a little bit better than this edge because this one is really really thick so with the hollow grind you take off little bit more material and it will cut a little bit better because those knives um, they're really handy I like them especially as neck knives and uh, they're really nice concealable um, but the only thing is the edge on these ones are really thick so they won't cut paper as easily as some other knives but they're still pretty sharp and they will keep an edge really long and I think as a utility knife they're really nice and pretty fun to make um, I also make Kydex cheese for them so we've got a lot to do and we also have to do some designing for someone who also want to have the obsidian grind with a tanto so that's pretty tricky I never done something like that so we have to do later some drawing up for that and uh, let's just get to it and I will just build up everything and you will see what I'm doing So as you can see here, um, this pin right in here which um, activates the valve and then the air is coming through here and is also picking up the sand is bended. I bent it a couple times back but it's always bending and that's why I bought a new one and I hope it works better with the new one than now because now it's a pain in the ass to sandblast my stuff. Alright, so now we have finished up those blades. Um, it took quite a long time because my compressor is not the best and it tries to keep up the level but it's really not that great. Um, this knife, it's not looking super clean and everything but this is just a prototype which I'm not a super fan of but I just want to finish it. So, um, yeah, because I don't want to waste steel so that's why I want to finish it and I want to see the end product and I also want to test some new blackening solution on this one um, so that's why I'm using this one and this one we are going to grind now this blade here or the bevel and then we're going to etch it and then we're going to grind again the blade
All right, so now we have ground that thing. It's not the best grind, I really do have to say. Um, it's really difficult to keep it all flat and true on such a huge area and was the first cleaver I am. Um, I was grinding, so um, therefore it's all right. Um, like you can still see on the edge there are small bumps, but they will get later, we will get later rid of them when we are uh, putting the edge on so that shouldn't be a problem and the finish will be also a little bit better later um, when we are out of the acid and regrind um, the bevel and I think it's going to look pretty awesome even though the grind is not the best so that is the thing you know even though the grind is not perfect I'm still going to finish this product because and I also show you the product because I want to show you my journey on how to become a knife maker because I'm not a knife maker yet and it will take a long time until I'm really professional and I'm happy with everything I made some knives which I'm really happy but there were still little things which I have to change and which I learned from so that is just my journey I want to show you my journey on what I'm doing and I'm really excited about uh, the time which is going to come and so I'm really happy to show you my way and I'm really happy to show you guys uh, that I can do that that I'm able to do that and I'm really excited about the future what is going to come I have some really cool projects in the progress some water jetting and some other stuff which you're going to see later uh, in my vlogs but I'm really excited about that and I hope you to stay tuned with my other videos and it would be super cool and you also can follow my Instagram where I'm also called Forgeworks where I've already some finished knives which you can check out and see what I've already done so before we are starting to draw up some designs I have to throw this one into the acid I have to also have to degrease it so because when you work with acids um, I use ferric chloride um, when you have fingerprints or oil on it you can see it and you have fingerprints all over it because the acid won't touch the oil so that's why you always have to clean it and use gloves and everything to really um, wipe it down so you have no grease on this one because you don't want to have any fingerprints on your nice knife so keep that always in mind and I'm going to neutralize it later with some glass cleaner um, that works really well So now we're going to take out the cleaver out of the asset and then we're going to clean it up. Um, that will be it for today.
Alright guys, this is it. The day is done. I didn't achieve everything what I wanted, but I'm still happy with the end result of today. I learned a lot today again. And just let me know what you think about the video. Just post it down in the comments. Post down what you want to see me making. What do you want to see more? Um, maybe some build videos. Maybe some more vlogging. What I'm also doing. Just let me know, guys, what you want to see. And um, I'm just going to do what I want and um, just see what you like and what you don't like. And it would really help me if you put down a comment or a thumb up or a thumb down. And if you want to check out some stuff from me, I also have an Instagram. I'll link it down below. It's also called Forgeworks. I have already posted up there some knives, which I made. You also can see some knives from, from the beginning and also some knives from this stage now, which I am now. And um, yeah, it would be cool to also, if you would check it out there and see you just next time.